the word that's going to activate your feminine energy power. Why do we want to activate it? Because your feminine energy and you've realized that the masculine energy way of getting things is not serving you. When you get into alignment with your feminine energy power, you become more impactful. The intentions that you co-create dynamically manifest, which makes the things that you want, the things that are yours, land in your world more easily. And thus you are on your path of my goal for every viewer of this video, guilt-free thriving. Let's get into it. But first, let's all remember to subscribe to the channel. I mean, we don't want to miss out on notifications. Oh, how do we not miss out on notifications? We click the bell as well. So then you can get more and more videos. And I am dropping right now two to three videos every Thursday. You can get access to more and more videos that are devoted to your guilt-free thriving. Another reason to subscribe, hmm, I have that as well. We have an entire yoga series, playlists upon playlists that are devoted to the menstrual phases. When you subscribe, only subscribers get access to these yoga poses, yoga practices, and the fundamentals of yoga that will not only improve your practice, but will help you be of greatest service to yourself in each menstrual phase. Subscribe. So let's get into the meat of it. I'm going to tell you the word. Here's the word. The word is no. Now, you're probably wondering why I, Christine Marie, am qualified to tell you that the word that activates feminine energy power is no. Uh, because I learned it. How did I learn it? Uh, years and years of wondering why in the world am I manifesting and following all of the directions and nothing is actually coming into my reality. Well, because I was co-creating intentions out of alignment, I didn't realize that one easy way to get into alignment, because I'm a feminine energy bias being, is to say no. I started to hear about this idea of feminine energy biased beings in yoga. The teacher said, the left side of our body is feminine energy and the right side of our body is masculine. The left side says I receive, the right side says I give. The left side says no, the right side says yes. And I was blown away. What is this no business? So I tried it. I started saying no and I got like what's happening now. I, I got the giggles. I, I realized that there was just this whole world, this, this, this world of freedom that I was closing myself. I was putting myself in jail in this world of yes, because the world kept telling him I'm supposed to want to use yes. But it, the answer for me was no. So if you're wondering, am I a feminine energy biased being? Start playing with no. And if it does for you what it did for me, which was uh, give me the giggles, make me feel good. And all of a sudden the things that I was co-creating as intentions were showing up in my life as manifestations. If that starts happening, then you're probably a feminine energy biased being, and you'll probably want to watch even more videos on this channel because it's devoted to you. So back to this word, no. I, I knew that I was going to make a video about this, but there's so many ways to go about doing a video about the power of no. And then I was telling one of my friends, we were having what I like to call a goddess to goddess conversation because there are some people in this world who are just goddesses. And when these energies align, it's like, oh, and those I call goddess to goddess conversations. We were having one of those where we were just co-creating intentions and speaking so powerfully and speaking so specifically and in such a... God, how do you say it? It's a, uh, we were channeling, we were channeling greatness. We were grounded and yet we were open. And when you're grounded and open, then you receive, you receive all the stuff that is in your cloud. It's like you've suddenly attached rocks to those things and they anchor and they land. So we're sitting here having one of those goddess to goddess conversations. And she says to me, oh, the power of no. I mean, Christine, you've been saying that for years, but I'm finally seeing why it matters. And of course I'm like, do tell. So she happens to be one of those people who is like blowing up right now. And it's in an entirely different realm. So it's not like, oh, if you look at the subscribers, you'll find her. She's subscribed, but she is incognito. Anyways, um, it's not about that. It's about the fact that she's blowing up and that she is very, very strongly in demand and she has had to start using no. And when she was describing how why she had to use no, I screamed, this is why 
I'm making this video. You are demonstrating feminine energy power. So what happens when we use no is that we are exercising choice. We are exercising discernment. And if you really want to learn about discernment, let me see if he's in his residence right now. He's not. Where is my little dog? Let me see. Goose. Ah, there he is. Yeah. This little creature right here is the, let me see, this chair handle's in the way. This little guy right here is the king, the king of discernment. Ever since he was a baby, he would decide who's allowed in his space and who's not. And that is exactly what she's doing when she's saying no. And she's saying no because her time, one of the big three, time, energy, money, her time, and I think time matters the most because it's not something that we can get back. We can recharge and get more energy back. We can earn, receive, allow, spend, and get more money back, but we can't get time back. So that is the most valuable thing of the, of the, big, L, of the big three that I um, consider. And so she has a limitation on time. She has to say no because her time matters. And she is demonstrating supply and demand. When something is in great supply, it is in low demand. When something is in great demand, it is very likely because it is in low supply. We're forgetting that our attention, that is our power. No is the gatekeeper that says you have a right, excuse me, you are allowed to enjoy my attention. Everything we do in this world is energy. And when we realize that, that energy is money, energy is this computer, energy is the, the little darling dog of mine, energy is this exchange that's happening right now between us, then you realize that everything we put our attention to is also a blessing. What are we blessing with our attention? We don't just give it away. We choose and no says, ah, I'm in my element. I'm in my alignment. I am in energy, feminine energy powered momentum. And so what happens when we're in alignment in our feminine energy powered momentum? Well, we magnetize like it's going out of style and all these things are coming at us. But no is like a membrane around us where it goes up, ah, wait, let me decide if I'm going to allow you to have my attention or if I'm going to allow myself to receive what you're offering me. If you want things in this world, then you, if you are a feminine energy biased being, allow them into your world. You do not go after them. How do you create the ability to allow so that you can say, not that, that, not that, that? by practicing no. It is this small word, two letters, that change everything. Because when you say no on the lowest scale, for instance, I wake up in the morning and I my phone is downstairs. So that I am choosing where to put my attention. I'm not being told by the text message, the WhatsApp, the emails, the alarms, the schedule. None of that is telling me where to put my attention. I am choosing. I'm exercising my power of no, no phone, not right now. What do I want to put my attention toward? Ah, gratitude list. Ah, reflection. Ah, downloading what came in my dreams. Mmm, things that I noticed in the room around me. That is a no. That is a choice. So really, what I'm saying is that no is activating choice. What we choose is influencing the intentions that we co-create. The intentions that we co-create result in the manifestations that land in our life, which is everything around us. The manifestations that land in our life will either put us on the path of thriving or take us away from the path of thriving. So do you see how powerful choice is? I am speaking to you from the creative phase. So you might notice that this video is a bit like wild and that's because it's what's popping in creative phase. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out my online course. It's like super fast, super easy, and another way to get you into alignment through menstrual alignment, which is, ah, oh, I could just talk about all of this stuff all day. Okay, so back to the topic. So let's do this experiment right now. I'd like you to look around your space 
and ask the question, does this space, do my outsides reflect my insides? And there's like, I believe it's one of the hermetic rules, as within, so without. Um, I think they say as above, so below, as within, so without. If you don't agree that your outside is reflecting your inside, then there's some work to be done. An easy way to figure out what that work is, is to start saying no when there is something that you actually don't want to do. As feminine energy bodies, we will always be receiving requests. We are always going to be magnetizing because that is our, that is just our vibration to receive. Masculine to give, feminine to receive. So we're always going to be receiving, but it's a matter of what we're choosing. And that again is the no part. A way to practice choice, a way to use no to activate our power is with money. It's one of the big three, time, energy, money. And we can, once we're in alignment, get super good at manifesting money in our lives. For those of us who would like help with that, and I think this goes really well with this video, I have a daily money manifestation workshop. I created it yesterday and I created it because one of my clients is working on manifesting financially in her life and I have a daily practice that I co-created with my business coach and I've been using it for months and it was so cool because at first I went like this and then it went like this and now I am on this path of financial consistency which I am absolutely in love with. So if you would like to get into daily manifestation of money then you should probably go ahead and get that workshop. To end today, I thought I would just give a quick preview of the workshop so that you can see what is there. Subscribe, join our mailing list, and we will see you on your path of guilt-free thriving. Thanks for watching.